All the tourists are up there while we're down here by ourselves. amazing coming here we're the only people here for a little bit and this is absolutely incredible but now we're gonna walk back up into the jungle little rock climbing bit right here <laughs> make sure you wear a helmet in case you fall <laughs> yeah good thing we have our helmets beautiful good work so we rode all the way into Kapa'a we're at sort of like this natural health food store right now, and it's amazing. Okay guys, so when I was here in 2015, I literally ate like, probably like 10 packs of these. This is all he has been <laughs> raving to me about is, let's go to Hoka Foods and get the oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Oatmeal chocolate chip, baby, and these homemade. Uncle Eddie's vegan peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Oh my god. Huh? Oh my gosh. I love duck rice. Ramen noodles. Yum, ramen. Organic lemongrass. I like the Asian vegetable. Mmm, that's good. So many chips. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Go swimming now. We just kind of had a nice little time to relax and eat some food because we had a really long ride here And now we're gonna go back into town do a few things and then probably go for a Really epic hike. Let's go Anything. There's free sugar cane shots in it. How is it? So what is that one? To be honest, I forget. But it's like pineapple, coconut water, and then blue green algae or blue algae. Blue algae and chia seeds. Um, 
gonna feel me for the hike. Oh my god, I feel you. Wow, that's really good. I got a dragon fruit pineapple kombucha. I'm so happy. Is this the best day of your life? I Drink it. love kombucha and I love dragon fruits. So like. Mm. So this hike that we're doing is called Sleeping Giant Mountain. It's about a two mile hike up and we're just about halfway now. I'm probably the sweatiest person alive right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We've probably done like 50k of riding so far at least and then we still have to ride all the way back home and then we did a hike down a waterfall and then friggin rock climbed back up <laughs> and then we're doing a two mile hike up a mountain right now so worth it totally epic day yeah Kyle's a friggin trooper <laughs> he's a champ carrying our backpack full of all of our stuff that we brought today on his back the whole time. Thank you, baby. I love you. I could not do that without you. Oh my god, you guys, this is epic, but kind of scary at the same time because I could fall to my death at any moment. What do you think? Epic. Mountains? Kind of asked for a more beautiful day. This is crazy beautiful. I've been thinking about. What did you just say? The lock was unlocked the whole time. We locked our bikes up to this tree while we were gone. Hello. And apparently, the lock was not even locked. <laughs> oh well, at least they're still here. All right, so that concludes it for Kapa'a today. We are going to ride back, eating some dates that we packed. Fuel for the ride home. What an epic day it was. So epic. Okay, well, we made it home after that treacherous ride home. It just <laughs> felt like it was, it was going on forever. We were just so tired that we were just like, when will this end? But we came home and we had a shower immediately because we definitely needed it. That is how you know you've had a good day of adventuring. Oh my gosh, my feet are so dirty. And now we're just having some ramen that we got at the store today. We are so tired. Kyle was like, oh yeah, it's going to be great. It's only going to be like 50k and <laughs> like then we'll just hike the mountain. And you'll be fine. It'll be great. We <laughs> definitely rode over like 100k's today. And Kyle also did it with the backpack on his back the whole time. And it Probably was like... like Six or seven kilos on my back. Yeah. So thankful that he carried the weight and I didn't have to. He was very nice about that. But we are exhausted, needless to say. But it was so worth it. Today was freaking amazing. Like, I don't think I've seen so much beauty in one day.
and this camera definitely makes me look a lot more red than I actually am. I am a little bit sunburnt, that's for sure, because we were in the sun for like the entire day. I did wear sunscreen, so for all you people that are gonna be like, eh, you need to wear sunscreen. I wore sunscreen and I reapplied and this camera just, the lighting makes me look a lot more red than I actually am. But yeah, I, we're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> we're so tired. But it was so much fun. And I hope this vlog was as epic as my day felt. So, yeah. And we're gonna have much, we're gonna have more epic vlogs like this one. Yeah, like we still have, that was only like one place that we explored. Like there's still so much to see on this island, so I'm so excited. Yeah. But I don't think we will be riding as far. <laughs> Because the places that we got to go are a little bit further than where we went today. And we were like, oh yeah, we'll ride there. But I honestly don't know if I'll make like it. Like it wasn't a, over 100 kilometers of flat. We definitely made some elevation gains. Oh yeah. <laughs> like Kyle was like, oh yeah, it's flat the whole way. There's maybe like one hill. And we're like riding. And I'm like, okay, well, we've gone it's through like, like five hill. downhills. So when we go home, we're going to have to go uphill like five times. And then there was a couple climbs to get there as well. And I was like, oh, it's fine, because then it'll be downhill on the way home. But the way home, I swear, it was like all uphill. And I was just like, oh And then my it was God. a crazy good descent back yeah. into where we're staying on the southern part of the island. Yeah. So. But yeah. <laughs> Kyle was like, oh yeah, it's all flat. You'll be <laughs> fine. It'll be really easy. 50 Ks. <laughs> but it was beautiful. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, give it a big thumbs up for me and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And we're gonna go have a nice, big, fat sleep. Peace. Bye.